audio cracking this time better. Uh, hope you guys are doing good. We're going to go ahead and get started with this live stream as people go ahead and pile in. Um, what is up? That's Nico in the house. What's up, Nico? Thank you guys for being so patient, by the way. I'm just doing this with my telephone. So, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of an audio weirdness going on with the phone, but we'll muddle through. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Let's get started with the Black Book. What up, Mario? How you doing? Kaylin, what's up? Michael, yeah, we back. Uh, Raphael, no problem. Yeah, we, we, were, we are back. We got better audio going, and we're going to talk a little bit about some pieces today. So I got myself a nice little hit-off list, and I'm sure some of you guys want to know about this. So every once in a while, I do a hit-off list, get a bunch of names of people that are on Instagram, YouTube, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we'll piece up their names and stuff like that. So we'll be doing this for 12 days, so I'll be asking for more names very shortly. But in the meantime, we're just going to talk a little bit about piecing. So... Let's get started with that. Now, there's a couple, two different ways you can do a piece. There's two really good ways. Uh, let's see, I miss you, brother. Happy holidays. Uh, that's High Times Review. Uh, Vile B. Graffin says, at work, what's up, boy? Hey, what's cracking, Vile? How you doing, homie? Uh, okay, so I get a lot of requests from kids asking like how to paint a piece, how to do all that, you know? And it's pretty basic stuff. There's a couple different methods you can use to build your piecing letters. This is an example of one right here. Can you tag doser and drange? Yeah, we'll do hit off soon, homie, don't worry. Oh, uh, let's see. Yousef says placed his first Art Primo order last week all the way from Bahrain. Whoa, that's crazy, homie. That's sick. Been watching your videos for the last three years. Thank you for the knowledge. Oh, that's sick, dude. Uh, I'm, am I the only one with the black screen? I don't see a black screen in my end. Maybe it's your signal or something. I don't know, homie. Uh, but anyway, so. There's a couple different ways you can do a piece. You can either do like um, bar letters, which is what this is right here. And if you look really close, you can kind of see it right here. You can see the line work where I built these letters up. And you're just taking like, you know, if you kind of imagine them as being like metal bars and bending them and forming them to whatever shape you want it to be. And as you grow in your skill set, you're probably going to be using this technique more and more often. Uh, that tends to be the way people tend to go as they get better. But there's a way you can start as a beginner, which I think would be really helpful for you guys. Well, I'm sure some of you guys are total experts, obviously. But, you know, for the beginners of the bunch, uh, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. So this is a tag right here. It says W-U-E-S, one of the kids in my hit off list, by the way. And what I did is I just drew a tag with a pencil, very, very light, as you guys can see here. This is a great technique to do your, ske your sketches. And let me put something behind this here. I think if we tilt this up a little bit, you guys could see it better. So let me grab something here. Where well, it's kind of a learning process as we go. I hope you guys understand. <laughs> let's, just, let's just put a can under it. All right, there we go. All right, that works a little bit better. So I just did a tag basically, right? So I did a tag like this. And then I just went in there and kind of thickened some things up, you know, make it a little bit more thick. And you can add a little bit of like this or that to it. You know, it's, it's really a personal preference thing. See what I'm saying here? It's so easy to do. Anybody could do this. Even I can do it. Look at that. So easy. Turn your tag into a piece. There we go. Now, you know, you could, you could try a whole bunch of different styles, twist and do things as you like. I think when I'm looking at this, when I do this kind of tag thing, they tend to be a little bit on the skinnier side. So if I wanted to get something a little bit more chunky, I would probably recommend this technique. But you know, they're both completely valid, uh, total valid technique. So let's go ahead and just rock this like this. And I think I want this S to be a little bit more like this, right? Not like that. You feel me? I think that might work better for that. So you just gotta follow the lines and you know, and you just kind of add a little thickness as your personal taste, you know, dictates, if you will. But it's a great way to get started. Get your flow going here. Look at that. We just got ourselves an S. I know I've showed this before, but I think it's just a great technique, man. Damn, we got a piece here on our hands. Look at that. Can you hit off Yozer? No, we're not doing hit offs right now, homie, but we will do soon. This is actually a hit off for someone right now. All right, so we got our letters. Just from a tag, you made a piece, right? Simple as that. 
All right, what up, my man? Uh, let's see, Ray X says, when I make a sketch, I always follow the flow of the new hand and like see what feels good. That's a good idea, man. Uh, you got a Twitch account or what? You know, before I did this, I, uh, I asked everyone if they wanted me to do Twitch or YouTube. Everyone said to go on YouTube, uh, but I thought Twitch was more popular for streaming. So I don't really know. Maybe we'll try both out. You know, I'm, I'll tell you this right now. I'm pretty confident that our channel is shadow banned. Like people aren't getting notifications that I'm doing live streams. I have, a, I have our YouTube channel on another browser open right now and I'm subscribed to it and it didn't even give me the notification. So that's kind of weird. Uh, BTW, yeah, I'm doing hit offs right now. I'm doing a hit off for this kid Woos right now. So anyways, let's go ahead and start outlining this. What are the best markers for sketchbook? Very good question. You can use a variety of different stuff. I mean, I use Sharpie markers sometimes. I use all kinds of different stuff. Obviously, since I'm here, I'm using the one for alls. I like these because you can refill them. You have replacement nibs and the water base tend to dry pretty quickly and they go down pretty nice. So that's what I use most of the time, but you got to mix it up. You know, you can't just use one marker in your black book. You know, you got to use some graphic markers and stuff like that. Um, so I would say like chart pack or something would be a good choice. Like I said, if you're broke, um, highly recommend deco colors. I highly recommend prism color. You know, those are all great markers too. We hope, we hope, uh, we hope you guys shop with us when you have a chance, but you know, I get it, man. Not everyone, not everyone's, uh, you know, rolling in dough these days. It's hard. It's hard on the boulevard. Um, Let's, let's go back over here really quick. Someone had a comment. He said, man, you know, you don't know how long I've been waiting for a black book, bro. I, I watch all the old ones when I do my art. Puts me in a good space. I've been rocking with you for a minute. Thank you. Oh, that's good, man. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Are they good? I think you're talking about the Poscas. They're great, man. <laughs> Vile B. Graffin says, how are you shadow banned? I don't know, dude, but I'll tell you this. Like, and like, I'm not complaining because I don't think complaining is going to help. Uh, but we don't get recommended anymore. And I noticed like a lot of people been telling me like they don't get the notifications. And honestly, I have no idea why that happened. Maybe they're just trying to, you know, not promote graffiti or something. It's, it's, I really don't know. But the idea for me is if I just kind of do more of these live streams, maybe they'll put us back into the algo. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, so regardless or not, you know, we have, I think like 150,000, you know, subscribers, but right now we only have like 70 people in the live stream. So obviously people aren't getting the notifications, you know? So I don't know. I can't really dwell on it too much, but it is a little discouraging. You know what I'm saying? It can be a little bit discouraging because all I want to do is give you guys content. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to make some fun videos for you guys, give you something to kind of watch when you're just chilling at home or whatever, you know, eating your Cheerios, watching, watching some GR reviews. Um, and I definitely try not to curse on YouTube, but who knows, man, who, who knows the, the rules aren't very clear. Uh, let's see. Hey gang, take a minute and hit that like button for big homie GR. Oh, that's really nice, homie. I really appreciate that. I think that'll definitely help. You know, I really appreciate the, 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 the looking out for me guys, man. That really, that's really helpful. So anyways, uh, where did we leave off? So we did a tag. We outlined the tag and now we have a piece. So let's go ahead and start outlining this with the marker. Uh, let's see. Yo, could you give many tips? I got a Molotov drip stick. I use Grog Full Metal and it's so watery, the color doesn't show. You know, I don't really know what the situation was with the Grog Full Metal is. I've heard from some people that it's really good and I've heard from some people that they don't really care for it. And I don't want to disparage like Grog or another brand. Like I'm not gonna, you know, be like, oh, they suck. You know what I mean? I don't do that kind of shit. Uh, oh shit, I'm not supposed to cuss. I don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I like to be supportive of everybody in the graph scene because I think uh, there's not very many of us and we have to be sure that we support each other in this small little world that we live in. So what I will say in my most diplomatic way is I've heard from some people that it doesn't flow through certain types of nibs. So I don't know if it's the marker you have or if it was a bad pour. It could be a bad pour. I mean, I've had the same issue with unis. Like, you know, I love the Uni Silver. The Uni Silver is one of my favorite markers. I got Unis up the wazoo over here. I'm always using them. I use them on the street. I use them in my black books. I use them everywhere. They're great markers, but sometimes I get a bad pour. Like it's really watery or it doesn't flow through the nib properly. So I end up having to dump it out or mix something else in it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just the way it is. I would say if you have an issue with it, definitely hit up the people you bought it from. You know, we get the same kind of requests sometimes, like people have something and they have an issue and they shoot us an email. 
uh, which got me thinking. I was like, maybe we should set up like a Discord server or something like that. So when people have questions, you know, it can be more like a group chat helping people out, you know. We used to have the forums, uh, but they got botted to death <laughs> by Chinese bots. <laughs> Yo, GR, could you please do the Montana Copper Liquid Review? Uh, I don't think we have that. Set up a Discord, that would be sick. All right, you know, maybe we'll do that. Um, how's the Discord lately? I heard like a lot of people be getting banned though. Is that is that something that's still popping or? I don't know. I don't, I don't really follow Discord these days. Posca or Black Books? Or Posca for Molotov? I would recommend the Molotov because you can actually refill them. Poscas don't have refills. They don't sell refills, at least not to us that I know of. But they are good markers. I do enjoy using them. Oh, what marker? I'm using a Micron 12. This is a Micron 12, by the way. Outline that. There we go. You got that bell on. What happened? You didn't get the you didn't get the uh, the notification. I think you're right, bro. I've seen you've been posting videos, and this is the first time I got a notification. Yeah, see, something's going on, man. I wish I knew what it was. It's not it's not like I can call customer service, you know. It's kind of weird, man. The man's got us down. The man be trying to get me down, homie. <laughs> Use the metallic silver to refill a PX30 and it was watery, but eventually the pigment flowed. Yeah, I don't know. I should probably buy some uh, some grog ink and give it a try. It's been a few years since I've used it. As you can imagine, um, I make a lot of my own inks, you know, and we have the precursors here for a lot of inks for when we're like developing stuff. So honestly, like I either use stuff that I make or stuff that we sell, like the spring fever and stuff like that. Hey, GR, what's the best can for cold weather bombing? It is and always will be Molotov Premium. It's a cold weather lacquer paint. It'll work uh, in minus four degree weather. Uh, I know, I'm, I'm sure some of you guys have used Rusto in the cold and it gets really watery. Uh, it still works, but you know, you gotta kind of work with it a little bit. But the Molotov won't do that. It lays down super quick and it dries really quick. And I would say this, if you're like a baller on a budget, and maybe you're like racking Rustos or something, just get a couple cans of Molotov for your outlines and doodads. You know what I mean? It'll make your pieces look so much better. It'll clean up your outlines so nicely. I mean, obviously you gotta have the can control to make it work. You know what I mean? Obviously there's no substitute for practice, um, but you will get much cleaner lines with the Molotov Premium. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, pencil, get rid of these pencil lines here. Where's my other eraser at? I know I have a bigger eraser. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I like the white ones better. Let's go ahead and erase this real quick. What should we fill this with? What color should we do? Should we do like a green or a red or a blue or something like that? What do you guys think? When you gotta make another review video? Yeah, I gotta do more reviews. I am called GR Reviews after all. That is true. Boston fat on a Rusto makes clean lines. Hey, I'm not denying that you can't get clean lines with Rusto. That's, that's not what I'm referring to. I'm saying like, you get ultra clean lines with the Molotov, especially in cold weather. Rusto's great too, don't get me wrong. I will never disparage Rusto. My only beef with Rusto is they don't know their fan base. Same thing with Krylon. Uh, if they embrace their fan base, they would do a lot better. I mean, they would blow Montana out of the water. Montana, German Montana is the biggest one, you know? But if Rusto was like, you know what? Screw it, we're gonna be supportive of graffiti art. They would, they would just destroy everybody. But I don't know, man. There's like boomers running that shit. I mean, oh, I gotta stop cussing, sorry. Boomers running that stuff. And uh, <laughs> this is my practice for live streams. I gotta make sure I, I uh, watch my language. Um, there's boomers running Rusto. We've actually talked to them before and they just don't get it, man. They don't, they don't get it. They don't get it. Green and pink best combo. Yeah, I, I do like that. Add more pilot ink. Let's see. GR, I'm in, oh, see, I can't read this. GR, I'm in a few graffiti servers that have been up for years on Discord. So if you make a server and stay on top of the rules, I'm sure it'd be 100% fine. Okay, that's cool, man. Maybe we will make a, de a Discord server because I think it'd be a better way to be in touch with you guys. You know, because I got like the IG comments and the IG uh, 
notifications and stuff like that. But if there's one clearinghouse where we could all be together and hang out, I think that would be better. So anyways, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start filling this in. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think, huh? Chrome, you wanna do Chrome? I'm hilarious advertising like this. Advertising what, for, uh, for Rust-Oleum? <laughs> I don't wanna do Chrome right now because I already did Chrome earlier this morning and it took forever to dry. So let's, let's try this out real quick. Let's see how this color lays down. Ooh, that's a nice one. Do another four for 20. Yeah, 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 I think that might be good. Oh, someone's someone's advertising in here. That's all right, homie. That's fine. I don't I don't care. Whatever. Let them promote their shit. I mean, what what is graffiti, right? It's like the art of self promotion. You out here self promoting yourself. So if someone comes on there and starts promoting their whatever. That's fine. As long as it's not like a porno channel or something. Can't have that in my stream. Sorry. Keep, keep that degeneracy out here. Out of here. <laughs> All right. Do you happen to know the best clear additive to paint to make it UV protective? So you want to mix it in with the paint? Do you want to mix it with the paint or spray it on top? Because if you want to spray it over your project... Oh, hold on one second. Sorry. What's up, homie? Oh, you need to move my car? Right, hold on one second, homie. Hold on. Where are my car keys? Hey, just bear with me one second, homies. Uh, I got to move my car, but I'm going to have one of the homies move it. Here you go. It's a diesel, so it'll accelerate a little differently. Yeah, okay. All right, sorry about that, homie. One of the warehouse guys had to move my car so they can get the forklift out. Okay. Riding a Pinto. <laughs> Yo, Pinto is actually a good car. It got a bad rap, but it was actually a good car. Why did you close the AP and SF? The biggest issue with the SF shop was the fact that the rent just got crazy high in SF and we just weren't pulling in enough money to keep it open. I mean, that's the bottom line is uh, it's just it, SF is so expensive, man. And you know, the thing about graffiti products is like there really isn't a big margin. Like we don't make a lot of money here. Like we do obviously because we do volume, but you know, if I was smart, we would have got into like Nike shoes and stuff like that. That would make you a lot of money with small, you know, big profit margins. But you know, it's a labor of love but SF just got too expensive. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. This is a chart pack with uh, turquoise, turquoise green. It's a good fill color right here. I know you guys wanna see silver, but it takes a while to dry. So we're just gonna rock this for now. So remember this came from a tag. We did a tag and we thickened it up and now we're turning it into a piece. Let's get you sending paint to Columbia. Yeah, I wish I could send paint to Columbia. You know, the biggest issue is uh, shipping. You know, spray paint can't go in an airplane. It has to go by a ground method or by a ship. So if you if you know someone in Columbia that's got enough money, I mean, if they want to order like multiple pallets, we could definitely ship that to Columbia, but I can't send like a small package to you. It has to be like a big, a big shipment. But I mean, I've shipped, I've shipped containers all over the world. So a full 40 foot container full of paint. So I'm sure we could do something to Columbia too, but you gotta be a big baller. Maybe a shop or something like that. Uh, do you have any more? Hold on a second, sorry. Do you have any more pilot to a pilot marker when you get it? Yeah, I would highly recommend adding more pilot ink to your brand new pilot if you're gonna use it on the street. Basically, the, the ink that's in a pilot marker, it's, it's loaded just enough to work on paper, but it won't be quite rich enough to rock on the street. So definitely add a little bit more pilot ink. The pilot ink is cheap and it's one of the few out there that are still xylene based, which is really nice. You know, so I, I can't say enough good things about Pilot Ink. It works great. And you can you can rock Pilot Ink in a variety of different markers, not just the Pilot marker. You can put it in pump action markers. You can mix it with other colors to create your own special color combinations. Uh, Pilot Ink is sick, dude. It's, it's a classic and I'm glad it's still around. Yo, Green Ranger, do we ship to England? Uh, yes, we do ship to England. We do, absolutely do. We don't ship paint though. We can't ship paint. Uh, let's see. Xylene is poison, though, still. I mean, bro, it's fine as long as you don't drink it. <laughs> it's not that much xylene. These have xylene in them. They're fine. They're fine. 
Xylene makes your ink better. Xylene is the best stuff you can have for your ink. Just don't drink it. Uh, don't stick it up your nose and huff it. You know, have a nice ventilated room. Open the window if you must. You'll be fine. My grandfather was a, a biochemist, and we always talked about these things. It's like, oh, you know, there's a, a carcinogen in this product. And it's like, okay, what are the concentrations? What are the parts per million of this thing in this particular thing? You know, people just see a scary word and they assume it's bad. And it's like, well, how many parts per million? You know what I'm saying? So you're fine. It's called Pega. They breathe glue here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything that's good gives you cancer. <laughs> I have known posts on social media that have given me cancer. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All right, we got 143 people here. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm glad you guys are out here watching the stream. Hopefully we get more people finding out and uh, I get better at this. Hopefully I get better at this and we can do more streams. My goal is to get really into the streaming game. And if we can get a few thousand people on these streams, man, I think we'll be doing really good. So help me out, guys. Let people know and, and let me know how I can make the stream better, like how I can help you guys, things we can cover to make it more entertaining for you, et cetera, et cetera. So when we're done with this, I'll go back and read the comments. Okay, one thing I want to mention, noticed how I'm not being that concerned about hitting the, the outer edges of my lines with this marker. The, the outline was done with a water-based marker and my fill is done with a xylene-based marker and it won't reactivate the ink. So it's really important when you do your outline and your fills to try to mix match your inks because that way you keep everything nice and crispy. You know, if you use a water-based fill and a water-based outline, you could reactivate it and things get kind of muddy. So just a little tip there, a little tip, a little tip from GR. What up, Ruthless? How you doing, man? Hope you're doing good out there. I kind of have to like look over here to see what you guys are saying. I apologize. Uh, iron lac is fine to paint with, but I feel like uh, it fades in the sun. You know, that was true about iron lac years ago, but they, they had consistently improved the paint. Uh, I don't think it's quite like that anymore. They've done a lot of work with their pigments and stuff like that. It should be a lot better. Now, I will tell you this. There are some colors that fade more than others, like light purples and pinks tend to go to gray. Uh, but that's pretty common for a lot of brands. And you'll see that with different paint lines, like certain colors last longer than others. Um, but, you know, it's, it's all personal preference, really. Hey, bro, uh, you sound better. You ever tried the calligraphy pins. Oh, you're talking about when I had COVID? <sighs> Bro, I still get night sweats. I don't know if that's considered long COVID. Like, I feel fine, but in the middle of the night, I'll wake up all sweaty, and I never got like that before COVID. And now it's happening all the time, and I'm just like, what the hell's going on, dude? It's so weird, dude. It's such a weird sickness to have. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this filled in. Just a little quickie. And this is one of my Instagram followers, Wooz. Uh, he wanted to hit off, so I figured we'd do a little black book for him here real quick. Okay. You know, I could have made this a little bit thicker down here, but whatever. It's all good. We're having fun. <clears throat> Someone says I'm too hot. <laughs> oh, because of my night sweats? Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. That, that might, you might, you might, you might have figured it out, homie. That might be what's going on. Um, does the iron lac refill paint work for street tags? Now they do have a couple different refills that we carry here. There's one that comes in like a big bottle. That's like their street ink. It's just like an acrylic paint from China, which is pretty similar to like the OTR and stuff like that. It's fine. Um, but they also make one in the little bottles that you can rock in like your Molotov markers and stuff. And that stuff's really good actually. I've, I've rather enjoyed using it. All right, so let's go ahead and put our 3D. I'm dropping my 3D down right now, and I've covered this in many videos, but again, there's always someone new here. Uh, just pay attention to what I'm doing here is I'm dropping a line down like this, and I drop a line down like that. They're parallel, right? And then I just connect them like that, and then you got your 3D. It's easy as pie, baby, easy as pie. Uh, do we ship to Malta? Yeah, homie, we ship worldwide. Uh, I've shipped pretty much everywhere except North Korea, but I'm working on that. I would love to send paint to North Korea. <laughs> that would be pretty ill. Imagine if I went out there and painted a piece. 
I'm sure I'm sure it'd be like pretty sketchy though. I don't, they'd probably put me in a labor camp or something. <laughs> that's pro that's probably why we're shadow banned because I say inappropriate stuff like that, <laughs> which isn't that big of a deal. I'm just joking. God. <laughs> Art Primo Shop coming to Cali anytime soon. I, honestly, I don't know. You know, it's kind of tough because we have to find people we truly trust to do it, to have our name on it. And all those people are here at the warehouse. You know what I mean? So I think we'll just stick to shipping online for now, which is fine. Like if you order from us in Cali, like if you live in LA, it should take like two days to get to you. Uh, Mr. Rangers, what markers would you recommend personally? I'm getting a Springfield mop, but I don't know what else to put in my basket. Uh, Unibrod or a Pixo. Great choice. Unibrod or a Pixo. These are excellent markers. Um, what else? What else? Uh, any of the Molotov uh, covers all markers. Those are really good too. Uh, OTR hard to buff. I rather enjoy using those. Uh, of course, Get yourself some marsh ink. That's always a good choice. We're, we are out of black, but we will be getting more of it in pretty soon. So just keep your peepers peep for that. Uh, also, magic ink are a fun one. These are oil-based dye markers. Now, this is a brown, but they come in all kinds of colors. You can use these in your black books. You can use them on the streets. It's up to you. They're great little markers. And they're the classic original glass bodies too. Really cool stuff. Who is my favorite tagger? Well, when I was in junior high, it was Chaka. Chaka was my favorite tagger in junior high. Uh, who's my favorite tagger now? Probably Goog. Goog in New York. That guy crushes, man. A champion. And I also liked... Uh, uh, who's that guy that passed away recently? <sighs> Cat's got my tongue. I can't think of him. Oh, uh, Zex Zexor, I think was what he wrote. Yeah, I'm sorry, bros. I'm, I'm kind of retarded sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Neen from Chicago is sick. Oh yeah, I'm glad you like uh Oh, next is sick too. Zexor, yeah, Zexor, man. That guy had some really nice straight letters, dude. Really clean. Yeah, I heard Chaka's still getting up. Damn, how old is he? He's gotta be like in his 50s now. That's crazy, dude. Oh, I'm glad you like the uh, Acme paint, homie. I, I rather like it myself. You know, it's a good like low, low price option for people. And you know, it works fine. You can use it on the streets or whatever. Columbia, we have Seed. Oh yeah, we got a Seed here in Seattle too. He's an old school writer from Seattle. Uh, is there any way to get big orders of paint without a wholesale license? Give us a call 206. 3654083 you can give us a call there um i'm sure we could work something out we do we do big packs with a uh, professional artist sometimes i mean obviously money talks you know so let's talk money <laughs> i sound like little wayne uh let's see how many blacks and whites in the acme 48 pack off the top of my head i don't know uh but we can look into that later when we do the question and answer period we'll we'll do that I would assume at least three each. That would be my guess. Miss the live sections. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you guys are back. I'm kind of warming up to it. It's it's kind of a skill set to be a good live streamer, you know? Like you really gotta you really gotta put on a show for people, you know, like a DJ. Like I feel like a DJ. Uh will art people ever carry man? Comments go so cool. Are people here? Can oh, bro, we got we got new caps coming. I can't tell you about it right now, but we always have something new in the works. I, that that I can assure you, there are new things in the works. That's one reason we don't want people coming to the warehouse because sometimes we have projects we're working on, and it's like I don't want you to see it before it launches. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we got our outline done. A little slower than I normally do it, but we're kind of chatting and rapping here, right? We're just kind of having a little chill session. Uh, let's fill in our 3D. What should we use? Uh, this little pilot chisel, I guess. Put the slat, the chat in slow motion. Yeah, I probably could do that. Hey man, I'm still learning. We're all learning here. All right, let's go ahead and fill in our 3D with this pilot. Oh, this is a pilot chisel, by the way. This is my favorite marker for doing slaps. 
Uh, it's just got like that perfect little chiselly edge on it right here. And, and, and you do have to break it in. When you first get them, you kind of have to work them a little bit to kind of break them in. But once you do, you get this really nice uh, chisel line. They're really nice. And I would definitely recommend refilling them when you get a brand new one. Again, you gotta, you gotta keep them nice and juicy or it just doesn't flow right. All right, let's go ahead and fill this in here. I've been watching, uh, I've been wanting to get up, but it's mad cold. Bro, don't let the cold stop you from painting. When I was your age, I'd go out and paint in the snow. I'd walk seven miles of snow and go paint. You could do it. In the cold weather, all you need is like a hobo marker and a mop and you're good to go. Where did I come up with my tag GR? Actually, the internet named me. When we first started doing videos, I had this like Lucha Libre, ma ma <laughs> Lucha Libre mask that I got at Daiso. And it was like a, a green mask that kind of looked like the Green Ranger. And then people started calling me like the, the Green Ranger or graffiti or whatever. And so the name just kind of stuck. I should, I, should, I should find that mask. I should start wearing it again. It's kind of fun. You know, the thing about the mask is when I wear the mask, I feel like I'm a different person and I can just say anything. You know what I mean? It's kind of a different vibe. <laughs> What's my favorite mop? Uh, oh, I'd have to say the, uh, the AP Drip Mop. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. Do you like Resk 12 or Weckman? Um, I don't know Resk 12. I mean, I don't really know Weckman either but I've talked to him a few times. I think they're both pretty good. It's, I like Weckman's hand styles. I don't want to say I like one more than the other, but then I kind of sound like a milk toast fence setter and I should just pick a side, right? I should just pick a side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Team Weckman on that one. We don't want any milk toast fence setters around here, but I enjoy watching both. Painting Gasworks is vibe. You should make a live showing at the... Okay. <laughs> yeah, Weckman is pretty nice. So you speak Russian? No, I don't speak Russian. Although some people think I work for Russia, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Sakura or Molotov liners? I mean, I guess it just depends. I mostly use the Sakura ones myself. And I don't think we even carry the Molotov ones anymore. I, I mean, bro, bro, look. Sakura, Sakura, Sakura. Okay, I, <laughs> I guess I'm a Sakura fanboy now. No, I always have been. Sakura is really cool. And, you know, and Sakura is another one too. They don't want to work with us. Isn't it so crazy? Like we sell so many of their markers. You think they would be bending over backwards to work with us? Like, don't they want money? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've heard good things about the Molotov ones. I've used them and they seem to work all right, but I'm a creature of habit. I've used Sakura markers since, I don't know, junior high or whatever. So I'm just gonna stick with it. Do you ever try Montana markers? Yeah, I've tried a few of the Montana markers. They're pretty good. You know, it's like everything. There's some good things, some bad things, you know? Well, I bring back the dope sticker trade videos. Uh, I was actually thinking of taking over sticker trade again. Um, we did really good with them. And then the girls took it over and they did their weird like like nude wine ant thing, which I wasn't really into at all. And it just kind of turned me off a of sticker trade. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and fill this in. Do I have kids uh, based? <laughs> you talking about the nude wine ant thing? <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't my idea. Um, GR with the Jesus flow. Oh shit. Yeah. Um, so anyways, where were we going? To I, I, may, I may take back the sticker trade and I'll probably take it back to its roots if we do. So if you guys are into that, I'll do it. And we'll definitely take it back to its roots the way that we used to do it. Uh, and I think it'd be much more entertaining. Where do I buy my sketchbook markers? 
Where do I buy my sketchbook markers? Bro, right here. I'll show you where I get my sketchbook markers. Hold on a second. You guys want to take a quick little tour? Where do we keep our sketchbook markers? Where do we keep our sketchbook markers? What should we pick up? You guys want to pick up a marker? What do you guys want to see? Molotov marker, Unibroad. What's on your mind today? We got some Molotov markers over here. Look at all these AP mops. This is how we pick your guys' orders. See, look, think, think of this. This is a group of ex-tagger kids that figured out a whole system with like plot numbers on here with barcodes and all that kind of stuff. And we're like professionals. It's so crazy to think about that. I'm like working with friends that I used to go to jail with and now we're doing this professional thing. It's so nuts. So anyways, uh, let's see what we got here. I think I want to add a, a magic ink marker to that. What do you guys think? Should we add a little magic ink to this? Let's see. See like an orange maybe or a yellow or this baby blue. What color do you guys want to do? What do you guys think? Blue, baby blue. All right, let's rock the baby blue. Now our fill is that turquoise, so they will be pretty similar colors, but I don't know. Let's try it out. Let's take a look here. Is that too close, guys? It's too close, isn't it? Maybe we should rock some pink. We should rock some pink in there, right? Let's rock some pink. I think pink is our color. Let's see, let's see. What do we got over here? Baby blue, what's bright here? Make sure I put it back or they will yell at me. What about this pink? Yeah, pink is fire. I think pink is the one. That's the hitter, homie. Bro, should we do our splash? Look at this door. <laughs> and this is the rest of our other warehouse. You guys get a little tour. All right. All right, back in my office with my uh, specialized artwork right here. You guys can see some of my, my wonderful artwork. Supreme ideas. I had this whole thing. And then I was tagging Ram Ranch for a while. I don't know why I was doing that, but that was just something I did for fun. All right. What up, Grumps? How you doing, homie? All right, so I think we're going to rock this pink. And uh, hopefully we'll finish this before the live stream ends. If not, we can finish the rest of it tomorrow because I'm going to be doing live streams for 12 days, except on the weekends because I got to go hang out with my daughter. I got a daughter, homies, and I got to spend time with her on the weekends. So every weekday for the next 12 days, we will do live streams. And hopefully we'll, more people will find out about it and we'll get a couple thousand people in here just shit posting with each other. It'll be hilarious. Uh, let's see. I added a new color to the piece. That's sick, homie. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Does my daughter write? Um, well, she's about three months old. So she's not doing a whole lot of anything but asking for food and crying. <laughs> the world is not flat. Oh, man. Dude, flat earthers, bro. Um... I've definitely seen proof in my own eyes that the earth is round, but I feel you, you know? I mean, everyone has their own little conspiracy theory that they follow and that's all good. That's all good if you wanna do that. The thing I've noticed with the flat earther people are they actually have some good points. They may be wrong in the end of it, but they actually have some good points and you better know what they are saying. You know what I mean? You gotta know their arguments or you're not gonna be able to hang with them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> What paper do I use? I'm just using like a, an Art Primo black book. It's just a basic black book that we're using. Pretty much everything that I do, I use a blotter behind it. Uh, so I don't really care about paper thickness. GR astronaut confirmed. I will not say what I did or what I know, but I just know some things. <laughs> Shut up and smoke one. Uh, I don't want to get any more shadow banned than I already am. That's for sure. All right. So if you guys have fun in this stream, let me know. Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. And, uh, you know, hopefully you tell the other homies to come follow us here. And uh, we get like a whole fat party going. Because I, I just want to bump music. 
hang out with you guys, draw on the book, you know, and just like hype up graffiti and you guys. And, you know, as we keep going, we'll be doing hit offs in the books and stuff like that. Uh, you know, just give people some love. Give the homies some love out there. Uh, shadow ban be damned. I don't care. I'm just going to do it. If we only have a couple hundred people, that's fine, too. Those are real people right there. Real deal people. How long was I in jail? Oh, bro, I've been in jail like, OK, I'm not going to brag about something so stupid. Like some people brag about it. I think it's really dumb. Um, I was more of like a petty criminal when I was younger. I wouldn't say that I was moving bricks, that kind of stuff. But I definitely racked a lot. <laughs> I went to jail a lot. Um, I mean, I've probably been to jail like 25, 30 times, maybe, when I was younger. Eventually, I hit a point where I just hated it. And I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of going to jail. It sucks. Jail sucks. Like, I don't know why anybody would want to be in there. It's a crappy place to be. All you want to do is be outside. When you're in there, it's like, God, I just want to be outside the whole time. <clears throat> most, most of the times I went to jail was either for, like, um, public disturbances, uh, graffiti, uh, getting in a fight. You know, just, just the typical, like, degenerate writer stuff. <laughs> am i a felon no no thankfully i never got an f um i've done things that should have gotten me an f but i never got caught that was one good thing about me is i have above average iq not bragging i'm just saying um i was usually a lot better at not getting caught than my friends a lot of my friends got caught and i never put myself in weird situations <clears throat> king county uh stanislaus county los angeles county various places Oh, Orange County in Florida. That was another one. I went to jail in Orlando, Florida for having a pipe with resin in it. I didn't even have anything on me. It was like one of my friend's pipes. They left it in my car and it was like under the passenger seat. And it, I had nothing on me, but it just had resin in it and they took me to jail. <laughs> it was so whack. <laughs> it was so whack. Uh, what's my opinion about uh, Iranian graffiti art? You know, from what I've seen, they're very talented. I really would love to go down to the Middle East and like, and go down there and paint. I know like in Turkey, there's a poppin' scene over there too, which I know Turkey is kind of on the cusp of Europe, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, but I would love to go to Iran, just not even, or Persia, if you want to call it that. I would love to go there just to see all the ancient ruins and stuff and check out like ancient Mesopotamia. Uh, what's that place called? Um, not Petra. Um, it's not Petra, it's the other one. Um, Petra's in Lebanon, I think. Uh, oh my God, my brain farts, man, such brain farts. Anyways, I wanna go visit the ruins. Have I painted in Vegas? Uh, most of the stuff I've done in Vegas is just tags. I've never done like big productions there or anything like that. But yeah, I actually, uh, I went on a private tunnel tour of the Vegas tunnels. Uh, with aware before he passed away and that was super sick. We had a really great time with him really great guy uh, RIP Views on the police wouldn't you like to know <laughs> That's dope as fuck. Oh, you're talking about going in the tunnels. Yeah, that was really sick, man We had a really great time Really really interesting the Vegas tunnels Bro, we need a mod in here. What's going on? Why do you think we need a mod? I don't think the chat's too bad. I think we're fine. Is somebody spamming? What are they spamming? Hey, Raphael, stop spamming or I'll ban you. How about that? <laughs> have I ever painted in germany yeah i did a little painting i've been to berlin i've been to uh hamburg i've been to uh dresden i've been to uh heidelberg i've been all over germany bro i went to the molotov warehouse i painted the molotov train that was really cool so yeah i love germany if if i was single and not married i would move to germany right now and just be like an old graffiti artist like banging chicks in their 20s. That would be super sick. <laughs> How 
Have I painted in the UK? No, I've been I've been to London, but I've never painted there. And I would definitely love to go back and paint in the UK. I don't know what it's like there though, because I heard they got like hella cameras and shit, and they're always catching people. But I don't know. Seattle or Portland graffiti? Woo, that is fighting words. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Seattle, homie. Top of the food chain. Portland's cool though. I'm not dissing Portland. I love Portland. I've met some really cool people out there. Uh, they got a really cool like art scene and food scene's pretty cool and they're getting crushed, but um, I think Seattle's still got it. It's got the best of everything. That's why everyone comes here. Oh, bro, I was, I, was, I was in that part of Germany like 15 years ago, probably before you were born. Who has more history, New York? New York or Cali? That's a tough one, man. Cali has definitely carved their own path, but New York is definitely still the original. I mean, what can you say? Hey, how come you guys didn't tell me I missed this 3D right here? You guys are falling off. <laughs> ever been to miami yeah definitely i got family in miami i love miami it's if i lived in florida i would consider living in miami that'd be pretty sick all right let's uh let's rock this magic ink all right so for those who don't know this is a magic ink marker the classic dye based permanent marker from japan the original magic marker they have a glass body, very, very cool. And uh, you can refill them. They can be refilled right here. Check this out, like right there. You just fill it with some ink. And of course you can replace the nibs on these too. Very, very nice. You can use them on the streets, but you can also use them in your sketchbook. They are oil-based. So keep that in mind uh, when you're mixing your ink formulas. Let's just rock some splash here real quick. All right, so I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, guys. Are you guys enjoying this? Let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully you guys are having fun. Hopefully you're, you're getting some ideas, getting your creative juices flowing, or maybe you're just chatting with the homies in the stream, you know, making some friends and stuff like that. You know, that's kind of my goal here is to kind of open up graffiti a little bit more and maybe more people can get together and create artwork as a group, as opposed to just being against each other. There's not very many of us out here doing graffiti. Uh, we need, we need, a, we need to uh, be more team players with each other. You know what I'm saying? All right. Magic ink good for the streets. Yeah, I like I like magic ink black. I think it's great. Uh, good, let's see, great stuff GR, like a piping hot gas station cappuccino on a good day. Oh, that's sick, man, hell yeah. Thoughts on Vegas graffiti. My, my experience with Vegas graffiti, I feel like it's a lot of like old school guys from Cali that are doing big productions and stuff like that. Like every time I go out there, I see like a, a lot of like, you know, like, like these MSK guys and them doing like big productions out there, which is dope. I do enjoy seeing that as well too. Um, but most of the bombing I saw was like in the tunnels when I was there visiting. Do you ship to Finland? Oh yeah, we ship worldwide, homie. Oh yeah, that arrow's blank. Hey, 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 GR, what's up with that? Where's my, uh, where's my fill color? Oh, there it is. Who's my favorite graffiti artist from the 90s? Uh, it would probably be uh, Twist. Twist was my favorite like all around bomber in the 90s. Uh, Hex and Slick were my favorite like piecer guys in the 90s. Uh, oh, also, uh, what's that guy's name? Um, not Poesia. Uh, Lord Bazaar. It was a, one of those guys from Lord's crew. Really amazing piecer. I mean, Poesia was good too. I went to school with that guy. Um, we just didn't get along very well. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do our splash here. Will you ever be posting uh, this live up after it's over? Yeah, I'll go ahead and post it up when we're done. Uh, so you guys can comment and uh, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear you, you guys' uh, feedback. So I'll definitely be good looking at it when we're done. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this in. I'm doing kind of a messy job, but we just gotta, we gotta get a move on it, boys. We gotta get a move on it. 
doo, doo. Hey, what's up, Gunner? Favorite New York writers. Uh, well, Goog is my favorite tagger in New York right now. I like Goal. Goal is pretty sick. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, oh, what's his name? God, I'm just a brain fart. Who's that guy that does all the bats? That guy is super sick. I like that bat dude. He's pretty dope. You should start a Discord. Okay, I think uh, I think people want the Discord. All right, I think we will do the Discord. Oh yeah, Bat O L A. Yeah, that guy's sick. You know, it's kind of like grimy, kind of punk rock. You know, and I'm kind of punk rock, so it suits me just fine. What's Discord? Bro, I'm a boomer and I know what Discord is. Come on. <laughs> Ghoul from LA. Oh, yeah, that guy's sick. What do I say about Latvian graffiti? Um, well, honestly, bro, I don't know anything about Latvian graffiti, but maybe that's my own ignorance and I should probably learn more about it. It sounds very PC and I'm not really a PC person, so don't take it that way. Um, but I probably should learn about Latvian graffiti. I don't, I don't know much about that area of the world, really. The thing I like about these markers is when you just got to fill in a big area quickly, they just have so much juice in them. Like you can just cover so much page without stressing out. You know what I mean? It's so easy to fill. Who's my favorite wild, wild style or style wars writer? Oh, that's got to be scheme for sure. It's scheme or even scene. Scene is definitely a legend, but the whole like relationship between scheme and his mom is so funny. <laughs> But his styles were so sick. Scheme and um, and uh, in case case two, definitely some of my inspirations right there. Have I ever done a heaven spot? Oh yeah, I've been to seven heaven. Hey, what's up? You can come in. It's all good. I got uh, my coworkers coming in here, so sometimes you'll hear the door open. Have I ever been to Rochester or Buffalo? No, I have not been to that part of the country, really. Uh, well, the closest I've been would probably be like Detroit and Chicago, and that's not really anywhere near there. But I would like to do a Rust Belt tour one of these days and just kind of travel around through some of those areas. Because I know they got like those grimy spots that are just so great to hit. And uh, I don't know, the vibe's different, you know? It's just a different, different place to check out. Yeah, so I'm into it. Hey, isn't that where they have that abandoned subway? Is that in Buffalo or is, am I thinking of a different place? Have I ever painted on psychedelics? Um, yes. And honestly, I don't think it helps. <laughs> I just want to roll around and take my clothes off and pretend I'm a caveman. <laughs> Uh, what's your advice on finding chill spots? That's actually a really good question. Um, what I would do if I were you, I don't know where you live, but maybe you live in a small town somewhere. Uh, look for some like, like railroad, like railroad tracks and try to find where there's like, like a railroad bridge somewhere. Cause sometimes it'll be in the middle of nowhere, but there'll be a bridge and there'll probably be a wall under that bridge where you can at least practice and get your skill set up. Opinion on burner chrome, Pff, bro. I made my career on Burner Chrome. Of course I love it. Yo, this dude wants to fly me out to Bahrain. I would go in a heartbeat. That sounds super sick. I would love to go out there and meet some Bahrainian people. I would love to go out to the Middle East. Or maybe go to like Saudi Arabia, like hang out with some Saudi sheikhs and stuff, do some graffiti with them, smoke some hookah. Sounds pretty sick. Skez says, I love you, GR. Oh, I appreciate it, homie. I love you too, man. I don't even know you, but I feel you. I feel you through the internet. I feel your vibes. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we just got a simple little piece here for Woos. 
Uh, we should probably do an outer outer, right guys? Should we do an outer outer for this? Rock a little outer outer. Uh, what color should we use for the outer outer? Because we got pink, we got green. Uh, I'm kind of thinking yellow, right? Is yellow kind of our color for the outer outer? What do you guys think? We got yellow for the outer outer. Do we have a yellow floating around here? Anyone else drinking and driving? <laughs> Bro, don't drink and drive. Come on, man. Orange, you thinking orange? Is orange too close to the pink though? I feel like yellow would pop off more. I'm, I'm leaning towards yellow. Uh, where's my orange at? All right, what do, you what do you guys think? I feel like yellow's gonna pop off more. Yeah, I think I think yellow has it, homies. Yellow, yellow is the one. We're mellow yellow today. Let's rock the mellow yellow. Apparently, burner chrome is not available in Greece. Oh, that's a bummer. That is such a bummer. Yeah, I think yellow. Opinion on Montana Gold. Hey, dude, Montana Gold is fantastic paint. I use it all the time. You have no problem using it. Yeah, I think it's yellow. I will tell you this, uh, if we're gonna go over this pink, we're probably gonna have to do two layers. How old am I? How old do you think I am? Take a guess. Yeah, the YouTube stream will be uploaded and I am going to try to do a live stream every weekday for the next 12 weekdays. That's my goal. You think I'm 12? <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably going on 12. That would be my guess. 35? Damn, that's nice. Thank you. 48? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, you got it right. I'm 45, homie. I'm 45. I am 45 and still alive. Why don't I do reviews in the streets? Okay, here, here's the deal, guys. Um, I'm way too hot in my own city. If I was traveling around the world, it would be a different story, but I, I gotta be careful where I'm at. Also, I have a three-month-old daughter, so we may be concentrating on black books for the time being, which is actually good because a lot of people wanted black books back. So we'll see where it goes. Um, you know, if I got some things going on and I, I go overseas or another country or another state, you know, sure, we could do that. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to do like something too hot. Now, there are chill spots around here that we can go to. So, you know, like train yards and chill spots, we can definitely do something like that. But I do have to be careful because we are a business and we employ many people here. And I'm looking at them right now, packing orders right in front of me out this window. And I want to make sure that they still have a job. You know, I don't want us to get shut down. It's very important that we protect them. So anyways, whoa, did I over, did I over pump that or what? Holy cow. That's all right. So anyways, we'll, we'll find ways around that. You know, I made the, the Judkins Park graffiti wall so we can go paint there. Uh, maybe we can go out to the Dookie Yard, which is not technically legal, but it's kind of a legal wall now. You know, it's kind of on the edge. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm super pumped on having a daughter. I wanted a son, but, you know, when she came out, I was like, all right, I guess I'm having a girl. This changes everything. And she's, she's, she's like the light of my life, homie. Have I tried using burner chrome in a mop? Yeah, I've used it. It'll work. It'll definitely work. Have I ever been to Italy? Yes, Italy, I've been many times. Uh, I, I like going to Rome. I've been to Florence. I've been to Venice. I haven't been, oh shit. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look what I did. I'm going backwards and I still do the left-handed thing. I've been to Venice, uh, Rome, and uh, Florence. And I've really enjoyed my times there. I really want to go see Pompeii and Herculaneum because I'm really into archaeology and like ancient cultures and stuff like that. So I really want to go check it out. In, 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 in Herculaneum and uh, Pompeii, there's tons of ancient graffiti. Like graffiti was huge in ancient Rome. It was, everybody did it, men, women, children. So it's in our roots to do graffiti. And I, I would love to do a video from there sometime and document it and talk about how, where we are today and where we came from. You know what I'm saying? Um, do Molotov markers by itself work great or empty markers? 
they work great by themselves. Uh, as far as what ink to put in them, you know, you can experiment. I, I know a lot of people that use grog in them, so I, I don't think that should be an issue. So yeah, rock it. Oh, that's really nice. I'll let Victoria know that you hit her up, man. That's Adam. He says, shout out to Victoria for the great customer service. That's nice. I'll let her know. Yo, GR, I'll hit you up on Instagram and we'll send out the... Yo, you're messing with me, Yusef. Don't mess with me like that. I would love to go, though. We'll, we'll talk about it. That would be super sick. All right, let's go ahead and get this going here. Please stay another hour, lol. <laughs> Has it been an hour? Holy shit, does time move fast when you're having fun? I'm glad you guys are enjoying this, man. This is sick. I, you know, we're, we're starting out kind of small, but I think uh, with a little bit of time, we can build something really cool. So we'll just keep it up. Uh, no, I haven't been to Philly yet. I, I would love to go to Philly. It just hasn't happened. Usually when I'm in the East Coast, I just go to New York. Um, but I think I'm missing out by not going to Philly. I mean, home of the Philly hand style. I mean, come on. Philly cheesesteak. I am seriously missing out. Yo, what's up with that street in Philly with all the meth heads, though, man? That looks really sad. What is going on over there? They need to fix that shit. <laughs> I got to leave now. It's 1230 a.m. Damn, that's late, homie. Did you notice flame blue produces cleaner, harder lines than flame orange. And, well, it is lower pressure. You know, it's a lower pressure paint, so you're probably going to get cleaner lines with it. That's why they make them lower pressure paints. The flame blue white is actually my favorite white. I actually like it better than the Molotov white. Yeah, flame orange is really good for tagging. It's the, the black flame orange is so buttery for, for hit ups and stuff like that. I agree. <laughs> Lowell, Portland and Seattle have, I, I'm not denying that homie. I am not denying that. <laughs> but that street in Philly looked pretty gnarly. <laughs> I am the first one to tell you that we have bum mansions. We absolutely do. Ruthless says he stopped writing. Now he's ready to get back into it. Oh, that's sick, homie. That's hella sick. You know, I've literally had thousands of kids hit me up, like literally thousands over the years that have been like, I got into graffiti by watching your burner chrome video years ago. <laughs> and it's crazy to think about, like I've probably turned out tens of thousands of graffiti writers <laughs> from my videos. It's quite, it's, quite a, it's quite a powerful thing to think about, you know? Man, that yellow is hitting, bro. Am I proud of that? Hell yeah, I am. I've gotten people to be creative and get out of their comfort zone and try something new. You know what I mean? Do I prefer Molotov or Posca? Well, I used to use Posca for pretty much everything, but Molotov has a much better system than Posca. Posca is kind of just resting on their laurels as far as I'm concerned. They need to come out with refills. They need to sell us uh, nibs for their markers and stuff like that. Uh, you can't just like sell a marker and not have replacement nibs like that. It just doesn't work. The people here are on glue. They are halfway crazy. It's getting better over here. Oh man, huffing glue, that's really sad. 
I hope none of you guys ever end up like that. Remember, keep doing graffiti. It's your anti-drug. <laughs> How is the train riding scene in the U.S.? Well, uh, I'd be painting trains by myself where I live. I, I live pretty close to a train yard, so I go there every once in a while and just pop in and do a quick little straight letter or something like that. But I'm seeing freshies. Freshies are getting hit up all the time. And it looks like they've recently refurbished a bunch of Golden West and uh, TTX cars. We're getting like these fresh TTXs and Golden Wests coming into my yard. And they got like fresh hits from like Cali and stuff like that. So I, I would say the train scene is still very healthy. You know, the freight train scene is mostly for like old dudes. I think young kids should be bombing on the streets. That's where they need to be. Leave the train yards for the old men so they can go retire and be happy. <laughs> no, I mean, it's fine if you paint a train, it's whatever. You know, get up. Do you like grog sketch markers? Uh, no, I have never used the grog sketch marker. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying no that I don't like it. I'm saying no, I haven't tried them. So I don't know. I don't really rock grog. You know, we stopped carrying them a while ago. And again, I don't want to disparage them. I just, I wasn't happy with our first shipment, but maybe they've gotten better over time. Do I know what makes them buff the trains? Well, I think they're on a schedule, homie. Like they go in for service, you know, and when they're in service, they just go ahead and buff them, you know? So maybe like they got to replace the wheel bearings or something like that. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I don't know the schedule for it, but that's my speculation. Maybe someone who paints trains can, uh, or not paints trains, that works on trains can comment in this video. Do I like OTR? I like uh, the hard to buff. I like the pen ink they make, uh, the ballpoint pen ink. I like the, the fact that they make the whiteout stuff. I like uh, cold sweat. I like, um, you know, like they're hard, or not hard to buff, but the, uh, the flow pen markers, those are fun to use. The regular paint markers, they're okay. Um, I don't think they really rock on the street that well. They're more of like a practice pen or something for canvas work and stuff like that. I mean, you can use them on the street, but I, I would prefer to use something else, really. All right, hold on a second. Let me see what's playing here. That's a good song, but I want beats. Okay. Spur brought the black book back. That's so funny. You know, I was having fun with that name, but everyone started calling me Spur. And I was like, I don't write Spur. Like, stop calling me Spur. <laughs> All right. This is why I wear gloves. Look at this. See? If I need to clean my nib. You know, when you're using the water based on paper, you get like, like little pilly stuff on there. You know, so you can just kind of clean it off easily. There we go. Or it's headbutting dads to do. <laughs> yeah, I do love Danzig. That is true. I still love Danzig. Even though he's kind of a butthole, I still like him. Did you guys ever see that YouTube video about Danzig's house where he had like that pile of bricks out front and he was arguing with his neighbor? And like all these people like found out where he lived and they were like coming to his house and taking pictures and he was getting all pissed off. It's so funny. Look it up when, you, when we're done with this video, Danzig's house. His, his house looks so creepy and not in the way that you would think. He had like a bunch of like Disney stuff in there. Like it was really weird, really weird house. Have I seen the San Francisco? Yes, I, I, I did talk about that earlier in the video. I'm from uh, Modesto. So I was very close to the Bay Area as a young, young kid and I would follow people like twist around begging to paint with them, but I was too toy because I was like 14 years old. <laughs> I gave Twist my sketchbook. I was like, put me down. <laughs> so, so cringy. What music do I listen to? Well, obviously I listen to house music. Uh, I listen to punk rock. I like a little bit of metal. Uh, I like some country music, uh, reggae, like old reggae, um, all kinds of stuff. Usually when I do the videos, I try to find something with a beat. 
because that seems to work better with the black book sessions and um i don't know it seems like the young kids they, they're more into like dj beats and stuff like that so you know i just try to give the people what they want you know what i'm saying but yeah, if you guys want to do like a punk rock black book session, I would be super into it. I'll play like a lot of my old stuff. And maybe I could even bring my turntable in and play some of my old 45s and stuff like that. I got a bunch of original stuff like Conflict, Crass, um, uh, Fleas and Lice, Choking Victim, all kinds of stuff. All right, so I'm doing the highlights. Generally with the highlights, what you want to do is have it opposite side of your 3D. You know what I mean? So wherever your 3D is, just do the highlights opposite of that. I think I want to come back with the black and just kind of clean up some of this stuff too. Just a quick little cleanup. And we may continue with this tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll rock some characters up here. You know, we'll just make it, we'll, we'll make it like a full production of the whole page. Yeah, Los Crudos, they were pretty good. I used to like them. Have you changed your name through your graph career? Yeah, I've changed my name probably like three or four times. Um, honestly, where I'm at with my age right now, I don't really care about names. I'll just paint whatever, you know? Which makes it a little bit more difficult because it's better to stick with one name as long as you can because you kind of build up your your name, you know what I mean? So if you keep changing it, you got to start over. But I don't care, man. I Where I'm at right now in my life, I'm if I feel like writing something one day, I'll write it. And I want to write something else the next day, I'll write that. It's fun. It's actually kind of uh, liberating to do it that way. So I'm okay with it. I'm young, I can't drive, and I live hella hard from town. Where should I go paint? Well, I mean, if you're that young and you can't drive, like, maybe just practice in your black book for now. Uh, but I know that won't be good enough. You want to hit the streets, so... Uh, make some friends with cars. <laughs> go hit up Twist. <laughs> Ask him if he can join his crew. <laughs> Yo, man, I want to get down on TMF. Yeah, Choking Victim's sick, dude. I have the original 45. I got it I got it on Profane Existence back in the 90s. I still have it. Although uh, one of my girlfriends spilled candle wax on the record and I still can't get it off. Freaking girlfriends. Uh, okay. Do I still rock throwies? Yes, I do. I think throwies are a lot of fun. I don't do them in videos very often just because I don't want to turn into a throwy guy in the videos. I think we should concentrate on pieces and stuff. But yeah, I, I like throwies. They're great. But we'll do some throwies. Favorite riders that ride trains, train riding story. Um, you talking about actually like riding the trains, like actually physically riding on them? Uh, that would be me. <laughs> I'm the guy that rode the trains. I may I may be the first uh, graffiti writer to actually physically ride trains back in the day. I didn't know any writer that did that back then. I was the only one I knew of. But yeah, I, I rode freight trains all over the place. Had some very uh, fun adventures. What do you think? Right, hold on a second here. All right, so... I just got a little bit of cleanup to do here, but I think we can uh, we can finish that up tomorrow. Because I think tomorrow what we'll do is we'll do another name up here and then maybe rock a character or something. One of the homies mentioned that uh, I should do that dude from Cow and Chicken, like that devil dude with the funny butt. He has like the butt cheeks. <laughs> I thought that'd be pretty cool. So I don't know, maybe we'll do him tomorrow. Uh, we'll do a piece and then we'll start doing some characters. Join Toy BBC Crew GR. All right, I'll join that crew. 
All right, so let's finish up for today. Uh, why don't we do some questions and answers? Can I flip this camera around? Let's see if that works. Hold on one second, guys. Let's see here. Let me check out my office here. Oh, sick. Hell yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome to my office. Uh, let's do some Q&As here real quick. So I know you guys have been blowing up the chat here real quick. Smash. OMG. Oh, my God. Beatles or Stones? Ooh. The Stones have some cuts, but I got to go with the Beatles, man. Especially uh, uh, George Harrison. He was the best Beatle. Have you ever looked into Baltimore graffiti? No, but I do want to do that. Like I said, if I go to the East Coast again, maybe I should spend some time in Baltimore and uh, Philadelphia and maybe Boston and stuff and just visit some of those other cities because I'm not I'm not like represented out there at all. So that may, that may, uh, that may change. Show the fanny pack. You don't want to see what's in that, homie. Uh, how do you do highlights? Highlights are going to be opposite of your 3D. So whatever direction you do 3D, make your highlights the opposite of that. Do I like the Deftones? Yeah, they got a couple good songs. It's, you know, I wasn't really into the new metal scene so much. Although, uh, back in the day, I was trying to get with this chick that was super into corn in 311. So I would go to like corn concerts with her just to get in her pants. <laughs> uh, do I know Train from France? I don't know him personally, but I know him. Uh, yo, GR, what's your favorite ink? Uh, I would say Marsh. Marsh is the one, man. It's going to be the one. Uh, let's see. Do I like Deftones? Yeah, they're all right. Again, I'm not like a big new metal fan. I'm, I was more into like crust core, uh, grind core, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, 311, homie. Yeah, I saw them live. That was fun. They actually put on a good show. Do I have Ligma? <laughs> yes, I got Ligma Johnson. <laughs> I'm dying, homie. Uh, have I tried planing on plastic wrap? We could do that. We could do a plastic wrap piece. I've seen people do it. We could, we could rock that. What was my first graph name? Funny you should ask. Funny you should ask. It was Rave. My first name was Rave. Or I add an N to it and make it Raven. Flame shipment soon. We are getting a flame shipment soon. If you're looking for a good flame pack on the website, I have a pack up right now that is uh, the GR, under GR, uh, 12 days of green. I got a, a 12 pack of flame with some really good stuff in it. And I actually picked out the colors for it. Definitely get that pack because it's got a really nice color selection in it. Uh, you got to do a video with postal stickers. Yes, I think maybe I'll take back the sticker trade. It, it seems like earlier in the chat, everyone was talking about the sticker trade and how I should take it back. Um, I just got a little bummed out about it because the whole like the whole like sexy wine ant thing just wasn't really my style. I had nothing to do with that video, but it really bummed me out. So maybe I'll take it over and make it fun again. Um, did you ever bomb 99 to Modesto? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, how do I get better at doing characters? You know, think of a character like a piece, you know, sketch out your character, fill it in and outline it and you got a piece. Burner Chrome or Montana Gold? Well, those are kind of two different things. Montana Gold is great for PC and Burner Chrome is great for bombing. How soon for the flame shipment? Should be coming very soon, uh, sooner than later. Make stickers great again. <laughs> Don't get a shadow banned, homie. Um, love seeing you, Uncle GR, it's been a minute. Yeah, I'm glad to be back, homie, I'm glad to be back. How about another model train? Oh yeah, we could do that on one of the live streams. We'll do a model train. Ooh, that'd be a good giveaway too, because I'll paint the model train and then I'll send it to a lucky viewer. Does that sound cool? I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, would you please say Farbod, Farbod, Farbod. New York Fat's coming back in. Oof. I don't know, homie. I miss your reviews. We will do reviews too, don't worry. Uh, we just had a lot of people asking about Black Book Sessions, so I gotta give the people what they want. Um, GR, what's up, GR? Do you know why the Magic Ink markers aren't in Europe? I don't know why Magic Ink isn't in Europe, but it's probably got to do with some kind of like, like nanny state stuff. They probably don't want Zyne Lee markers over there because they think you can't handle them. <laughs> These live streams are dope. Yeah, I think they're fun too, man. We should definitely do them more. Uh, one thing I do like about the live streams is I don't have to edit it. We just kind of go with the flow, you know, and we just chat and say what's up. You know, it's a lot of fun. When will we get Iron Lack? I don't think we get Iron Lack back ever. Uh, just that's the way it is. But, you know, we got the uh, the Acme paint and it's doing really well for us. So I think we'll stick with that. 
I think the Acme valve is great. It's a, uh, it's the same type of valve that comes in the European paints. It's the same valve. Yeah, live streaming, light bloopers included. That's pretty. That's pretty true. That's definitely pretty true. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the stream today, guys. So I got a couple things I gotta do before I get out of here. But I think we're definitely gonna do another live stream tomorrow. So uh, maybe around the same time, if that sounds good to you guys. So definitely be on the uh, the lookout for the notifications. But I'll definitely do a. Uh, what do you call it? Like a note in Instagram and I'll have our Primo mention it as well too. And hopefully, uh, don't forget the Discord. Okay, let's talk more about the Discord tomorrow. Uh, let's let's definitely talk about that. Um, Cause I think that's something you guys might benefit from. Cause then if, you know, people have marker questions or something like that, you know, like, hey, what marker works with this? You could go in the Discord and ask. And if I'm on there or even one of you guys that know, you can answer the question for them. And it's more of like a community thing. So yeah, I think that's a great idea. So let's do it. Um, all right, well, cool. All right, guys, thank you very much for following. Um, if you have any questions, just comment on the video itself when we're done, or if you're watching later, comment below. Let me know. I'll definitely read the the, uh, the replies, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay up.